Okay, so here we go. Okay, um, 443 number 3A was, if I can find it. Here. Okay, a recursive sequence is defined by the recursive formula T1 equals 1. T2 equals 5, uh, Tn equals Tn minus 1 plus, uh, sorry, 2 Tn minus 2. Uh, A, find the first 10 terms. Okay. I'll do this right here. Don't mind. Okay. Okay, so how do I find term one? I'm going to start at the back. Taylor, what's T1 going to equal, please? Uh, ah, good. T1 is a good one. Good start. Excellent. Okay, uh, T2. Kylie, what's T2 going to equal, please? Good. Okay, T3 is where the action actually starts taking place here. Right? Um, Colton, did you get what T3 was equal to here, please? Okay, what does Tn minus 1 mean? Yes, good. Okay, but if I know that Tn, if I say Tn equals Tn minus 1, what's n is going to be in this case? 3. Three. So, if you, so if we say n minus 1, all that means is T2. Right, this means the one before. So then Tn minus 2 potent is going to mean what then? Mm -hmm. Right, because if n here is for colon and one else, if n here is 3, 2 less than that, then I think it's going to be right to 1. We're going to do this 100 times first. <laughs> yeah. 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 Well, you know, I'm just curious, so I know I did have my guidance when you guys took my phone, and you know I'm going to yell back for teachers, so I try and avoid that as much as I can. Mm -hmm. Seriously? I, I know you are. You're also on YouTube right now. All right, so this equation is going to, we're going to do this all the way down. With this great knowledge, Ben, I'm going to pick on you. Can you give me the general equation T4? <laughs> what's, what's T4 going to equal here, please? T3 plus 2 times T2. Good. Okay, so all we're doing is just following the pattern here. All right? Uh, I guess we're starting at the front. Actually, that's fine. Georgie, what does T5 equal, please? Oh, no, 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 somebody pay attention. What is T5 equal, please? Go ahead. T4 plus T3. Right. Okay, great. What is T6 equal? T5. Plus 2T4. I'm going to do this all the way down to 10. Oops. Okay, the idea of a recursive sequence is one that you uh, repeats again and again and again. And remember we said this um, is good for computers, okay, uh, because computers can calculate this very, very quickly with loops and, you know, repetition and stuff like this. But for us to get to the 10th term, where you have to go all the way, you know, backwards, that takes a lot of work, okay? It takes a tremendous amount of work, all right? Okay. Can somebody please help me solve this up to anybody here and I'll pick on people during the lesson. Can anyone help me solve the actual number for T3? What's the actual number going to be? Oh, goodness. So what is it? Yeah, go ahead. Seven. How'd you get that? So all he did there, right, was he subbed in different numbers to get a value for the third term. 
Now, this is the thing that's recursion. We have to use that third term now to get the fourth term. And we use that third, fourth term to get the fifth term, and again and again and again. Could someone other than Ben be brave and tell me how I get T4, please? I'm going to check on everybody here, so raise your hand once. Go ahead. Okay, good. So what's T3 going to be? Six. Seven, sorry. Yeah. Plus two times. Ten. Yeah, plus ten. So it's going to be 17. Okay. So see, we did get it right. We did. It turned into, right, seven plus ten. Right, two times five. We got the seven from here. We got the five from T2. Hey, okay, someone else who's brave trying to do T5. Yeah, cool, go ahead. Yeah. Very good. Everybody equal. Okay, can I get four phones here, please? Play along here, guys. You'll also do this on your test, so play along here. Can somebody give me T6, please? Okay, great, Logan, thanks. T6. Uh, three plus. Two times uh, six. Okay. Okay, kind of brave person try T seven. Georgie, go ahead. Times 31 is 62 plus 127. All right. Okay, great. T8. Somebody brave, give me T8. Someone new. Come on, guys, play along, please. Yeah, you already want to go there. Yeah. So do 127. Yeah. I can't see. Sorry. 127 plus 2 times 40. Wait, whoa, hold on. Okay. Plus 2 times 65. Right? Okay. Uh, that turns into be 130, 257, is that right? Okay, I'll do the rest of you. So I think you guys get how this game is played now, I hope. Uh, 2 times 127 is 254, and 257 is 512, is that right? No, 511. And it should be 511 plus 2 times 2. 57 equals, oh boy. 1,014, oh boy, I can't do that in my head. 450, can somebody help me out? 1,025, is that right? Yeah. yeah. Somebody help me out? Okay, so, um, calculate the ratio <laughs> of the consecutive terms. What does ratio mean? What's that? What does ratio turn, what does ratio mean? An echo in here. What does ratio mean? Ratio. Ratio. Something to something. Something to something. We're comparing two things. So in order to get the ratio, good. So the ratio of this is going to be this divided by this. So the ratio here is 5. 1.4. Uh, 2 point something. So can somebody get the ratios here? The ratios is going to be pretty close to what? Let's look at T8 to T9. So T9 divided by T8. Let's start here. T9 is 511 over 257. What's 511 over 257, please? 1.98. Uh, T10 divided by T9 is 1,025. Can we write this down? Uh, if you want your homework to be complete, yes. 1,025 divided by 511 is going to be what? No, a little bit bigger than two. Two point zero zero five eight. Okay, if you'll notice here what the pattern is, okay, basically what I wanted from last night's work is to get the idea of how to do recursion, so I'm glad we did that. For what the pattern actually is in here, all right, is that it's going to be the equation is if n is odd, uh, t to the n is two. Um, to the n plus 1, if n, oops, minus 1, plus 1, uh, n is even, t to the n is 2 to the n plus 1. That's another way you can do it, okay? 
And if you don't believe me, just look at this. 16 is 2 to the 4. 16 plus 1 is 17. Uh, 2 to the 5 is 32. 32 minus 1 is 31. 2 to the 6 is 64. 64 plus 1 is 65. 2 to the 7 is 128 minus 1. So you're always going 1 above and 1 below 2 to the end. Again, that's a it, very difficult thing to see this without from a math teacher. Okay, so um, I know my hours to do that. All right, anything else you want to go through? Basically, what I want to get from last night out of this was just the idea of the ratio and the, um, you know what I mean, how to get each term, like how to get up to T10. And I hope we all saw as a class now that finding T10 is difficult. Like T10 is awful. Okay, if I were to say, if I were to be in a test and say find T38 with recursion, you just want to yell at me probably. All right, um, but I could ask on your test, why is what we're doing today a better version than doing recursion? Okay, because the problem is in recursion, you need every single previous term, right? So today that we're doing is we're going to be able to get directly to the 38 term with a millionth term missing. Okay. All right, I'm going to pause my video and then we're going to uh, continue, please. Actually, I'm going to start.